Aloha, Lava Watchers! Were last night's lava overflows the first real sign that the start of Episode 40 Fountaining could be right around the corner? We'll break it down in this Hawaii Volcano Watch Report for January 9th, 2026. Before we begin, remember to watch my live 24-7 Kilauea monitoring stream so you don't miss all the precursory activity and the awesome start of episode 40. The link is pinned in the comments below. Now, let's get started. The Halimama eruption is still officially paused, but overnight delivered one of the clearest something is changing signals we have seen since episode 39 ended. USGS reports that lava overflowed from the south vent three separate times, and that matters because overflows are an early sign that magma has risen high enough in the vent to begin spilling out. Here is what happened. Yesterday, a small stream of lava briefly overflowed at about 4.05 p.m. Then things stepped up with a more significant overflow from 6.21 to 6.37 p.m., producing a narrow, unhurried lava flow. And later, another overflow ran from 10.02 to 10.22 p.m., again generating a narrow, slow flow. These were not full fountains yet, but they are precisely the kind of precursor activity that can appear as a system transitions from paused to active. At the same time, the glow from both vents was intense overnight, and spattering remained visible in the north vent. Lava did not overflow from the north vent, but the spattering is still a big clue that magma is sitting high in the conduit. Seismometers are also recording low-level tremor from the vent region with weak, poorly defined tremor bursts roughly every 10 to 20 minutes apart. In simple terms, the vents are acting like they are primed and ready for action. Now for deformation, because that is the backbone of the timing question. Since the end of episode 39, the UWD tilt meter has recorded 21.7 microradians of reinflation beneath the summit, with about 0.7 microradians added in the past 24 hours. UWD has been showing slower inflation overall lately, along with brief deflationary pulses that can tug the short-term forecast window around. Meanwhile, the SDH and SMC tilt meters have been recording steadily increasing tilt over the past two days which supports the idea that summit inflation is continuing, possibly deeper in the system. Volcanic gas emissions remain much lower than during active fountaining, but are still estimated at 1,000 to 5,000 tons per day of sulfur dioxide. That is typical for these eruptive pauses and still well above actual background levels for a completely quiet Kilauea. So, back to the big question. Is this the start of episode 40? The best answer today is, it looks like the early stage of precursor activity has begun. Those south vent overflows combined with ongoing spatter and tremor strongly suggest magma is high in the vents and testing the surface. HVO forecast models currently keep the most likely window for the onset of episode 40 fountaining between January 10th and 14th, and the new overflow activity fits that window very well. Bottom line for today, Kilauea is not fully erupting yet, but the volcano is clearly edging closer. If we keep seeing more frequent or longer overflows, stronger spattering, or a faster tilt increase, the odds rise that episode 40 is lining up to start very soon. Mahalo for watching, and have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening.